Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. And I'm getting the van ready. Um, I got some calls in the morning and I got a couple of things in, so I'm excited to show you uh, those in the field, like me using them. And uh, let's see what, what's in the boxes. All right, so I don't know which video is gonna come out first, but spoiler alert, that one's not in a, in a brown box. So if you don't see that in this video, stay tuned make sure you're subscribed so you know when that comes out and uh let's get into it so this has been process in the making so let's see what we got here well i know what we got here big box right <laughs> okay so we got ourselves the job link manometer kit so it's a JLK whoa JL3 KM2 so these are gonna be the wireless probes um, for your manometer use you know So I'm a big fan of their probes. I have their pressure probes and their clamps and all that. So we're gonna be checking gas pressures and then we're gonna check pressure drop or static pressure. And I do use their uh, job link app, preferably that's the one I prefer. So this is not really an unboxing, but since we're here, little pouch and then everything you need hoses and fittings and the probes themselves just like their pressure probes got the magnet there and it's already set up with the uh, tip there so you can check your static pressure, pressure drop, all that. So we got one and two and our fittings. Man, and these things are so small. They're probably gonna go in that bag right there. All right, everybody. So we got a, we're, we've been doing maintenance here and I have a unit here that has gas. We don't have gas a lot in my area. Everybody's going electric, but I do have it every now and then. So what we're gonna do here is we got the fill piece manometers. And I have everything I need to check gas pressure and we can check uh, the water column see if everything's set right and then we can check static pressure too so we're gonna do that right now uh, so here we have you know the gas line this is a fairly new unit and the other ones they did not keep the uh, gas line but for this one unit they did so over here we're gonna turn off the gas like so. Kill power two. All right guys, so I took one of the manometers. And to check the gas valve, we're gonna use the hose that they give you. So it's this hose here. You got this other attachment here. And then there's supposed to be, yeah, one of these hoses. So it fits over like that. Oh, I'm gonna keep falling over here. And then we have 
that's our uh, port there on the right. So once we crack it, this should fit over that. And then we can check our uh, pressure there. And right now I'll set the manometer up. All right, so I disconnected it so we could zero it out. I have it on. And then all you're gonna do is, uh, can you see? Okay, push it once. It'll flash blue at you and that means it's zeroed out. All right, so we got a train here. All you gotta do is look at the uh, heating side of the, the label here and you're gonna look for manifold. So it's a 3.3 inches of water column. That's what we're supposed to have. So we'll verify that. So we have the gas valve off. Like I said, that's our uh, port right there. All we're gonna do is open it. We're basically cracking it. I'm not gonna take the whole thing out. And you place this over. And then we're gonna make sure we're zeroed out and turn on the gas and then run it. So for us to do that, while the power is off. Okay, since I don't wanna go look for the thermostat, here's why one. Right now we are cooling, it's a hot day. So, remove Y1. Now they had a jumper for Y2, I disconnected Y1, borrowed the jumper so we could jump it out to heating. Now, I don't do this often, like I said, it's hot here all year round. So uh, either give me some pointers or give me a break. <laughs> so I just wanted to test out uh, the heating here and we're gonna double check right now real quick. Okay, so now we can turn the gas back on. And I'll double check that that's zeroed out. I'm gonna power it on and then we're gonna see if the heat comes on. And then I'm also gonna check a few things on there, uh, ignition, uh, all the sensors and stuff. So we'll get to that too. Starting up. Okay, we got ignition, we got flames, and now we'll check. So I got everything off, throw it over there. Just make sure you close everything that you opened. You don't want any gas leaks. That's uh, dangerous stuff right there. So like I said, I'm gonna check uh, some of the other stuff on this side now. I need to get the cooling back. I wired it back up the way it was. I don't wanna toast any customers down there. Cause like I said, it's like 80, 90 degrees out here. So gonna get the cooling back on for them and uh, finish this uh, little maintenance check right here real quick but super simple 
Everything goes to the job link probe, which I'm a big fan of. I uh, prefer their job link probe because I have like everything field piece, so everything connects together. So our cooling will probably come on in a minute. Yeah, so these uh, sensors, like I said, this unit's fairly new and heat never really gets used, so everything looks good. I'll put everything back together and I'm just gonna take a look at the heat exchangers. It's probably gonna be the same, the same thing. They're probably gonna look brand new, but we'll check it out for them. All right, well, it's dirtier than I thought, but uh, nothing alarming. All this brown is, I mean, it's rust, but it's, it's just marked. It's not actual like holes or anything. Some of this is just stained. So we're good for now, you know. Like I said, they don't use uh, heating around here. South Texas don't know anything about heating, man. So when it's winter, if it does get cold, we just turn off everything. All right, I'm gonna close this one up, wrap it up. And in case uh, your label on the units, uh, you can't read it or for whatever reason, they do have a recommendation right there on the valve. So it's rated like at 3.3. And then there's a, you can set them, you go clockwise to increase, uh, counterclockwise to decrease on the set screw there. But I'm not gonna make any adjustment. It looks pretty spot on. All right, guys. So now I'm here working on another unit. I got the manometers out again. Uh, all my adapters are over here, so I put that away, and we're switching to static pressure. I'm gonna show you real quick how to check. I work with uh, rooftop package units, so that's how we're gonna check this. Uh, it's basically the same areas where you would check your uh, delta. Uh, you know your temperature difference and uh, we will put these in the proper positions so we're going to do supply which is where the blower is and this one is you're going to put the point against the airflow so it's flowing down you go up there's a little arrow on the outside to tell you where you're pointing and that's set up there next one put that on and then this one is opposite it's your return that's coming back up so you want to point this down so right now the units off I'm gonna zero them out push it once push it once Flash is blue. When I turn the system on, we're gonna run it and check our uh, difference there and pressure drop. Now, there's different ways or different things you can use this for. It's uh, really great also in the duct work. That's probably what I'm gonna be using it for too, uh, to check where I'm losing pressure. Because a lot of times they have these units and they run the, the duct kind of a uh, long ways and they're probably not built or installed right. And they complain that certain areas get hot and they don't get enough uh, air. So that's where you would check this. You can check across filters, uh, across coils, anything that you want to check if there's a restriction or a uh, you know pressure drop somewhere. And just make sure your system's running um, <clears throat> the way it should be and efficient. So yeah guys, and this is a great tool to have. I love that they're wireless. If you need to check uh, areas where you can't connect the hose to that one single manometer, you got this set comes with two separate and you can use them individually. You can use them together. The app just automatically uh, picks them up like that. And it shows you the value on each one and then the, the difference. And you can make your, uh, uh, you know, you can run your tests and all that like that, write down your uh, measurements, 
This is gonna come in handy for me because I have a lot of ductwork issues in uh, this specific chain of restaurants that I'm working at. Like I said, you can put them anywhere you need to that you suspect uh, an issue. So like across anywhere, here is just a simple supply and return to get an idea of what's going on. And then you go and you target certain areas and uh, all you gotta do is, is get in the throw these in the duct check across the filter check across uh coil really check any area of the duct you need to and you'll get your readings and you'll get a better idea of what you need to do thanks again phil peace love these things and i highly recommend them it's good to have a new tool bag right now uh, no heat season's coming up and you know you want to get your manometers these are just cool. I love all their uh, wireless stuff. So I have their pressure probes. I have uh, everything that goes in that bag over there.